or you throw a five in here or an S, and you, all of a sudden you get this swirls. You know, you can put a seven back through there, but you've got to start to think about how you're doing it. But again, you always want lines. So you keep your design within those lines. So when you're hooking this in here and bringing it back there, you start to build on something. But it's basically just sixes and nines when they do the scroll work, and it just keeps doing it down. But again, you're going to draw your grid. You always do grid both ways. You cannot... Can I stripe without a grid? I can, but it won't be as pretty as when I put a grid. And anybody that's worth their weight in striping puts some kind of a grid down. And once you do that, you always want to say, okay, that's my center right here. So that's the only place you might want to put a little mark or a star. That's the only place you put a star or is after your name. That's the only way. But when you're going to do this again, you're going to go like this. And I always do that little teardrop. That's my favorite little way of doing it. And I usually always start out like this, come down, and I go that way and come down. Then I come back out here. And this is a style I learned from a friend of mine. And if you look, I'm still doing left and right. If you can't doodle it, you're never going to be able to paint it. I don't care who you are. And you start to build the design. And then you can come down here again and crisscross that. And then you can build back out of here. And sometimes less is more. And then you can curve that into there like that and draw that one into there like that. And now that's getting a little bit heavier, so all I would do is come back down in here and do another real fine little design and then go back up like that. Give it length and body. And never, if you're going to do a design, and I'll show you this with a brush, but this is what I saw when I was a kid, when I was striping. Guy could do a good line like that there, and he puts the other one out here like this. I'll do that same line the proper way. You do it this way, and you take it, and you come out here, and you stay real close to it. Which of those two lines would you want on the side of your vehicle? The tight one. And that's what happens. Everybody paints out wide. If you can pull that line that way, then you can do it nice and tight. The striping you like the most and you see the most is the stuff where it's nice and tight like this. And even here, I could take this out now to there and bring this one out to here again and then just bring it back in. Like I'm drawing away from the paper to let you guys look at it, but honestly, but still, you're designing something. And once you can learn left and right with this pen, you pick up the brush, I mean, you're in overdrive. But nothing's worse, you pick up the paint to start with, you, 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 nobody's ever told you flow of paint probably. Then you don't know what about the reducers. Some guy's showing you to palette it in your fingers, which if I see you putting any paint in your fingers that way, I'm gonna smack your fingers. Because, you know, you wonder why you might get sick, it could be the, the chemical, and then, you know what, it's not the paint, it's the Varsol going into your kidneys and it's not coming out. Varsol is one of the worst things you, you, you don't want to be around on your hands. Even though I washed a lot of parts in Varsol, but it doesn't come out of your kidneys as easy. But that's what you got to do. Just doodle and doodle. But always remember to do, and you just do this when you're sitting. You know, if you're mad at your girlfriend, draw some pinstripe lines. You'll be happy, a lot happier than she will again. That's what I think of all the faculty. All the pages we get, they're all striped by the end of the meeting. But you gotta, you got to doodle, and it's like if you want to learn how to do swirls, maybe you just want to take your, your pen and go like that, down a page. And then try to practice going the opposite way. It's like when you play soccer, I bet you there's a right that you like to kick with better than maybe a left. And it's and they always, when the coach says, go to the left, you go, you bastard. But that's what you should practice more left than instead of right, because you're... And even myself, and when I stripe, when I'm teaching people, I gotta be, I'm always off to the side showing people, but you know what? My work looks cool because of my designs. If you can draw the design, you, you don't have to be that good of a striper, but if you've got a nice design to follow, you, people will go, wow. I learned that from lettering. My signs always look better than most people because I knew layout and design better than anybody.